Welcome to an interesting session of Resume 2021. Yes, that's the word. Now when we listen to this word or we hear Resume, we start searching in the internet. And the first thing that we get is a copy something which is a compromised, which appeals or not appeal our eye and try to bring it to the realism of whatever we can develop it as our resume. Copying is not the final final version anything that is copied and not explained properly across is not a resume format at all so let's try and understand that the biggest d they ask for our resume and we fall short of an ideal one let's try and understand the process of it what is the logic behind resume and what is the ideal format but before i start i request you all to please stick to this to the last because in the last few slides, I'm going to definitely give you the template of resume 2021 as well. So here we get started by skill influencer Manish Nair. Remember always that resume is a professional profile. So what it gives is a look and feel. What we need to understand is give it a professional look and a feel which appeals the HR and he is able to call you. It should not exceed more than two pages. Anyhow, it should not exceed more than two pages. It is meant basically to impress and not to express. So keep it with crisp bullet points with no full stops. For example, if you are using sentences, instead use bullet points, which covers the keyword of the entire sentence and convey the right meaning. It should not have, your resume should not have more than two font size or font type. I'll definitely explain to you as we progress ahead. Include only professional detail and no personal detail at all. As we start with the header, the header is normally with your name coming either on the left hand side, center or extreme right hand side. But remember, as shown in the slide, if your name is on the extreme left hand side, for example, if your name is Ashish Dongre, your name features on the left hand side of the page and the right side should be counterbalanced with your professional photograph. Of course, when I say professional, it reflects your, your suit, your tie, everything about you looking professional in the pic. The rest is the address should, should be counterbalanced with your email ID and the contact number. Like it is shown in the slide. So header is completed and becomes meaningful only when you have a page getting symmetric with your name, the photo, the professional photo, your address, email ID and the contact number, like as you are seeing in this particular slide. So the resume starts with header followed by professional statement. Yes. Professional statement is your profile statement, which also means career objective. First of all, ensure that you have the correct spelling of career. Now, career objective is your professional statement. So it has to be one or two meaningful sentence. What we have done is we have tried to give you one fresh career objective statement as a template for you all. For example, the first one says, that I am a trained fresher with an exposure to information technology, comma, willing to join a growing organization and exhibit my full potential. So this is very specific to information technology students. The second one is aspiring to make a mark in the field of computer science, where my learnings are translated into performance, ensuring mutual growth. I repeat, one or two or maximum three sentences not beyond three sentences if at all you want to carve a impactful a meaningful a logical career objective statement for yourself so take a clue and phrase your own sentence or career objective such statement now followed by career objective there would be an academic credentials or your educational qualification which start with your present qualification if you are let's say in the 6th sem or the 7th sem then your cumulative percentage comes there do not write the entire years or semesters that you have passed write only the 5th or the 6th one which is a cumulative one put an aggregate of the degree out till the point you have studied 
followed by HSSC or a diploma or polytechnic, whichever that you have done so far if you are pursuing IT engineering. And of course, the last thing that should feature in your academic credential would be SSC because that's the beginning of your first degree that you normally achieve in your academic life. Now, there are two ways to write uh, how to write your academic credential or your education qualification. One, you can choose to write in the tabular form as it is given in your slideshow, in the slideshow. And the second thing is you can always make a sentence, write three sentence, separate sentence that you aggregate as of today in the fifth semester is so and so from uh, where you're doing your graduation engineering from any college that you are studying from. So that that is a self-explanatory statement uh, giving enough insight as to what you are doing and what is the percentage you have. In case if you have good one, you can always showcase it there. Followed by your diploma or HSSC or and the next thing, the last thing is SSC. So uh, it should be in the, in the descending order, the present one coming as the first statement followed by HSSC or Polytechnic as a second and the third is SSC. So you can choose to have either way, you can write in a sentence form or in the tabular form as it is shown in the slide. Now the most important for all engineers is technical qualification. While they are studying in an engineering college, they are also studying elsewhere, trying to achieve uh, some diploma or certification course or some vocational course. So prioritize your that particular technical qualification from big to small. For example, coding is the largest thing or the biggest thing asked today as of today. So coding gets featured as first followed by languages that you learn C, C plus Java, Python, so on, so forth. The, then you can have in case if you are designing as your core, uh, you know, certification you might have done. G Suit is something which is a very contemporary thing and many of the professionals are using at this point in time uh, because of the shift, the online shift. G Suit followed by MS Office. So prioritize your qualification, the technical qualification from bigger uh, diploma or certification to a smaller one. So that's the ideal way of putting a technical qualification just below your academic credential. Now, if you have technical qualification, you would certainly have technical skills as well. So what are your technical skills? Basically, an engineer has four skills, designing, development, installation and maintenance. So always remember that technical skills, whichever skills that you possess, you should be writing one or two. If you have all the four, which is unlikely that an engineer would possess even the maintenance part, the hardware and the software both. Uh, but whatever is your expertise, I think that will make you stand out from the rest. Now, there are many designations, IT consultants, cloud architect, computer forensic investigator, health IT specialist, mobile application developer, web developer, software engineer information technology vendor manager so on so forth so there are many designation you need to identify what takes what for technical skills you need to identify whether if you are an id it consultant then is designing your forte is development your forte or is installation or maintenance your forte accordingly cloud architect computer forensic investigator and so so on so forth whatever is is mentioned as designation i think you need to fulfill that with the skill right skill sets and maybe mention only specific to job description so the bottom line here is unless you have gone through the job description you would certainly not touch the technical qualification and technical skills so both of the uh, subheads technical qualification and technical skills they directly come from your job description so read your job description take it very very seriously if you have done the internship, which is the next subhead, you should be writing only bullet points of the internship and what you need to write is mention the takeaway. For example, you become resourceful, how you have taken up this internship and suddenly you have realized that you become resourceful. I think you need to essentially write there. If you have gotten discipline, maybe, you know, getting punctual, uh, going in this uh, particular office that you are, you know, where you are doing the internship. So you need to mention what is that which you have taken away as your learning from that internship right the window hours 
right from 9 in uh, in the morning till 6 in the evening so that's a fantastic way also showcasing that you are getting used to be uh, to the job you are getting job ready what else the skill sets whatever that you have learned for example uh, internship always give you a planning and organizing scope so those are the skill sets which you might have imbibed so might as well you know ex- explain it over here in in terms of bullet points or if you have gotten result focus just because there was a task given to you write result focus or maybe process focus how you achieve it process focus so few of the skill sets that you have learned few of the takeaways that you would like to possibly you know highlight in terms of internship do it but do it using bullet points and the next point as always is the project part so what comes as a project is the objective of the project or the title of the project whichever is feasible there uh, you can also talk about the next bullet point which is the process that you have taken or the team size that you have or the description of the project whichever that you you can choose to highlight which is part of your project if you are able to explain process bullet points team size bullet points description bullet points everything is bulleted now the last thing that you can showcase about the project is which should match the objective or the title is that inference or the conclusion drawn so for example i've sh- tried to show uh, show it to you all with this particular slide so if you have understood you can take a clue from this slide and accordingly have project customized the way it is written on this particular slide well skill sets are very personal but professional at the same time so this the summary of skill sets or skill sets would definitely be evolved from again job description so let's say in today's scenario when we talk about it or computer science engineer big picture thinking is the major ask followed by adaptability how flexible and adaptable you are aptitude is arithmetic is the mathematical uh, logic that you apply willingness to learn is what i call as as a learning agility open to new learnings critical thinking how critical you go when it comes to you know problem solving making decision i think the, these uh, critical thinking is the first a uh, precursor to problem solving and decision making which is a higher order skill for it engineers showing empathy because as long as you would be working with the, with the fellow human beings you should also know what kind of an emotional state they are into and should also understand it so understanding and getting into other shoes is what is empathy you might have definitely participated in many activities in your school junior college or senior college so you need to write what is that important event of your life which is directly reflecting your skill sets or your personality trait or characteristics when it comes to job description so very specific pick one write the event your role in that particular event whatever that you were part of team size if you could explain and certificate citation appreciation whatever that you have accumulated doing that particular participation or event so team size is coming for the second time which clearly means that if you are a team player then you need to essentially mention it some or the other way so that's the reason participation becomes very very important followed by participation is your personal detail which is we are almost coming to the fag end of of our uh, entire format resume format your name comes first followed by date of birth followed by father's or mother's name whichever is in fashion whatever that you are using now followed by permanent address in case if your address is already permanent written in the header column you need not to write it in case if it is different then essentially please write it and the signature is simple the date is separated tab separated with the signature and followed by the place beneath of course your name will be featuring below and your signature will be coming above so here is where i have finished the format of 2021 resume specific to it industry and i have also keeping uh, as i promised i am keeping one template of sharanya meshram right this is uh, one of my student so i am giving you a template to refer Uh, as a ready reckoner it will serve to you all of you whoever is watching this video for till the last so one page talks about right from the header to the internship and the second page talks about right from the project to where shanna meshram is signing off so this is the template that i'm i'm actually allowing this particular video to have so that many of you can actually go through and maybe take an help from this particular 
insight so if you have any question coming up you can always drop in your questions so that i answer thank you so much